Hello and welcome. I'm Riversoft Art, and I'm here today to talk about my upcoming product, Pose Details. So, if you're like me, you have a love-hate relationship with partial poses. They're undeniably useful. However, they clutter up your hard drive. They definitely clutter up smart content. They're rarely named well to find things. Um, you can create partial poses from full poses using products such as my own assembly line, but then you have to keep remembering to do that every time you get a new product. So what if there was a better way? And the better way is pose details. So pose details uses the bone locking system in DAS Studio to make any pose a partial pose. So you can concentrate on the details of your poses without you know worrying about where these partial poses are. You just select your figure, you apply one of 14 different scripts, and then you apply your other full, uh, you apply a full pose, and it precisely targets the body part you want to make a partial pose, such as right here. They've, uh, it's the upper body, so it doesn't include the head, and it, you know, added it to the first um, figure. And here, we did it for both hands, so both hands changed, and the left arm. Now, pose details can even make dialed poses a partial pose. Dialed poses, where you pull the slider, they don't respect bone locks, but with pose details, you can actually use them. Pose details, uh, a pose detail script, anytime it runs, it remembers for each character type all the bone transformations. So here we have a Genesis 8 female. We run pose details, and it remembers all of the transformations for Genesis 8 female as this look here. And then when you <clears throat> do the dialed pose, and you know this is like a hip left right, it moves the legs and the hip, it, and then you hit this revert locked bones, it goes and says, okay, we locked this part, and I'm going to fix it back to here. So it takes this and makes it that. Uh, and it's, it remembers for... Uh, it remembers one set of bone transformations for each character type. So Genesis 3 male, Genesis 8 female, they each have their own. But if you use pose details on two different Genesis 8 females, you won't, you won't, uh, it won't remember the first one. Now there's 14 scripts, as I mentioned. There's, uh, you know, scripts to target the feet, the hands, the head, the toes, selected nodes, uh, etc. There's the revert locked bones script to work with the dialed poses, and there's the clear locks to remove all the locks from your figure. One of the scripts is just pose details without uh, any body part name attached to it, and it gives you an at-a-glance all the locks on your figure. This script is specifically targeted to Michael 4, Victoria 4 through 8.1, Genesis 8.1. Um, but you see all of the locks, each of the check marks, say you've locked the hand here and the abdomen. There's shortcuts to quickly lock different parts, lock and different, uh, unlock different parts. Other scripts in pose details can work with any character, as in this lion cup here. So let's see it in action. So here I have a Genesis 8 female, the lion cub, and um, let, let's uh, watch it in action. So here I'm going to make it so we are going to make the hands, we want to do hand poses as a partial pose. So you just bring up the dialog. We'll do it for both hands, but you could select whether you want it left or right. And you just click accept. 
At this point, you can bring in any, you can apply any pose, and it will only do the hands. And when you're done, you just clear locks. Now, so it's really, really fast uh, in what you want to do. And target. I'm going to bring this back up. Um, actually, let's do the feet, say. Um, so uh, in its default running, what these scripts do is they say, OK, you want to target the feet. I'm going to lock all the other bones in the body so they can't change and unlock the feet and the toes. There's also this exclude mode, or kind of like an expert mode. And here, it doesn't lock all the other figures in the body. It will only lock, unlock, or flip the locks, you know, lock to unlock, unlock to lock, for the feet only. So this is uh, kind of an expert mode. But this is very simple as is, so we can um, target the feet. Uh, there's a report results. You noticed it said how many bones it you know touched. And that's that. If you turn that off, it won't show it. What's also nice is that there's shortcut keys. So if you hold down the meta key as you're starting the script, uh, the meta key is the Windows key on Windows and the Cloverleaf key on whoops on Mac. And what that will do is it will it will not show the dialogue. It will take the um, options as is, apply it, and be done. So you can make it very fast. So I just want to do the feet, and we're done. It, it's applied. Um, if you hold down the control key, it goes to the expert mode where it won't apply locks to the rest of the figure. It will just lock the bones of the feet. If you hold down the alt key, it will unlock the bones of the feet. If you hold down the flip key, it will, or the alt, control and alt, it will flip the bone locks. So. Um, at this point, I've locked the feet. I'm going to show you the other script we have, which is Pose Details. This is the one designed for Genesis 8.1 through Victoria 4. And what you'll see here is that it shows a check mark for every locked bone. So you can see the right foot and the left foot are not locked. So this one's a little different, but you can see all the bones that are locked, all the bones in the figure, and which ones are unlocked at a glance. And you can change that very quickly. So in this case, you know, if I left it like this, it would be applying, any po pose would apply to the left arm and the feet. So let's do that then. Left arm and the feet. So it's going to be slightly pointed and this one's going to be crooked arm. Yep, and there you go. Now I'm going to clear the locks and just so it's easier to see I'm going to back out of our changes. All right, there we go. Um, so <clears throat> this is the figure at the beginning. Let's say I actually, let's move forward. So I applied to the hands, applied this thing, uh, and then I like these hands. OK, at this point, there are no locks on the figure. If I took the pose dial and I dialed it in, you see the hand, the arm, change, etc. Now with pose details, what you can do is you can say, OK, I want to lock everything but the arm. So allow the arm to be changed, but I don't want the hand 
to change. So uh, let's do this the easy way. We'll just select uh, the arm. Actually, we need to flip those. So everything is going to be locked except the front, uh, the left arm. And now we apply the pose dial. You see that the hand changed, but we can now use the revert locked bones and it will revert everything except that arm and then clear our locks. So make any pose that you have in your entire library a partial pose, you know, and take advantage of all the beautiful organization and smart content. Oh, I know these are, you know, dance poses. Um, yeah, um, you don't have to convert. You can use your dialed poses. And it also works with different uh, other things. So if I use this, this will not work. It doesn't, it says it doesn't support it. And if it's, if they use some uh, common names, a lot of the other scripts can work. So let's see, the feet. Yeah, it doesn't find the feet easily on this one. Um, yeah, the dragon and the dog, uh, others have much more uh, uh, common naming structures and can be found. But you can always use the pose details selected only and the pose details selected. So let's say I want to protect the left and right thigh. And at this point, it's protecting the back legs, basically. So if we select our figure and poses, so our partial pose is, uh, is only going to be on the, uh, the back legs. And there you go. And clear it off. So this is just a brief overview of pose details. I hope you will like it. I find it, it really speeds up my workflow. Um, thank you for watching and have a good day.